Hey YouTube, this is Blake from Blake's Game Room, and today I got another collection vid for you guys. Today we're going to be doing the PlayStation 1. Um, I have a pretty decent amount of games for my collection, but not all of them are boxed. I guess when I was a kid I found this really cool CD case or CD book, and I put all of them in there, except for some. And uh, some of these are newer games that I've gotten recently, so that's why they are boxed. But not all of them. So let's start with the first one. First up, we have Tekken 3. Um, it was a pretty decent fighting game. Uh, I really liked it. It utilized the PlayStation 1's graphics. And uh, we'll flip it around there. You can see the back. And it was an overall decent fighting game. Uh, next up, we got Gran Turismo 2. Uh, Gran Turismo 2 was a really, really great game. Um, I liked it. It was one of the better racers on the PlayStation 1. Um, was it the best? Not necessarily, but it was one of the better ones. Uh, next up we got Legend of Dragoon. I found out this game was pretty rare, and I picked this one up for $2. Um, I don't know how rare mine would be, because it's just in the Greatest Hits version here. Uh, the green label, but it does have some cracks in the case. I might switch it out with a less rare game so it has a better case, you know. But, uh, really good. I never played it, actually. Um, I was planning on throwing it in. I heard it has a really, really awesome long story. And, uh, I would totally recommend this game, though, from all the reviews and videos I've seen about it. I would definitely recommend it. If you can pick it up for under $10, definitely pick this game up. It's four discs, by the way. Next up, we have Final Fantasy Origins. This is pretty much Final Fantasy 1 and 2 remastered for the PlayStation 1 system. Um, it's one disc, both games. Um, Final Fantasy 2, I'm not a huge fan of, which is right there. And Final Fantasy 1, which I'm a pretty big fan of, actually. I really liked the first one. Um, it was enjoyable. And... Uh, I would definitely pick this up just to play number one because this was a very, very good port. Um, now, granted, Game Boy Advance, Dawn of Souls is a little bit better, but if you're a home consoler, this is the way to go. Uh, next up, we have Final Fantasy VIII. Um, I didn't really like this one that much. There's a lot of people that say this one's the best. Not in my opinion at all. Um, I just hate it in the beginning. I couldn't really get into it. I actually like 10 better than this one, and I'm not a huge fan of 10, which was very surprising for me to say. So, um, but it's Final Fantasy. Uh, I definitely recommend it, because there are a lot of people that like it. If you like modern, more modernized RPGs, uh, this is the thing for you. But, uh, Final Fantasy 8. Next, we have Final Fantasy IX, and uh, I actually like this one better. Um, to me, for the PlayStation 1, the best Final Fantasy game is Final Fantasy IV, and that's still my favorite of all time, the Final Fantasy Chronicles Edition, where it comes with four and, and uh, Chrono Trigger. Sadly, I don't have it, but I, it is on my wish list. Um, but this game is... I thought it was really, really good. I love the music on this game. This is what really made it for me. The music and the characters. The characters were really, really well built to me. And um, I haven't played this game for a long time, so I can't really tell you much on the characters. I just know that it's four discs. The game had beautiful graphics. And it was much better than eight, in my opinion. So definitely pick this game up. Next we have Digimon World 2. Um, these were pretty good games, actually. Uh, I had the whole, I have the whole series, or I had, I don't know if I still have it in my book, we'll have to check, but, um, it was an RPG with Digimon, uh, I was a huge Digimon fan, so if you can find this game and you like Digimon, highly recommend it. Next we have Spider-Man. Um, this never got a lot of rave. Um, I was really surprised. This was a great uh, action kind of adventure f f beat 'em up game. 
Um, so many enemies. The moves were awesome. I would totally recommend this game. Not only would I recommend that game, I would recommend its sequel. Which uh, really built on everything the first one was based on. Um, Spider-Man 2. Just an overall great game series. I think they're some of the best games for the PlayStation 1, actually. Um, next game I got, you guys can probably figure why I have it. Uh, chess. Um, the people at H Tech really, really uh, built a good chess game here. Um, I love the levels and the characters that you could play. And uh, just an overall great game. I picked this game up for, I think, $3.99. And uh, it's a great chess game for the PlayStation. Dragon Ball GT Final Bout. Um, God. I love Dragon Ball games. Dragon Ball GT games, however, have been very, very disappointing. Um, I... I wouldn't recommend this one. Um, it and the Game Boy Advance, those both both of those Dragon Ball GT games, absolutely horrendous. Uh, I'd stick with Budokai and Ultimate Battle 22 on the PlayStation One. I'd stick with that if you want to get your DBZ fix. Uh, I don't have the cover for this one, but it's Grand Theft Auto. Um, it's not what you think. It's not Grand Theft Auto 3 or San Andreas or Vice City or Liberty City or any of those. Uh, this one's completely different. It's a top-down view, kind of like Chinatown, what Chinatown tried to bring back. And, uh, it was a decent game. It was very hard. Um, a lot of sub-missions and a lot of missions to do. Uh, you could steal really cool cars, drive really fast. Um, it just, it was an overall pretty decent game, I gotta admit. Next up we have this. This here is this case. If you can get a better shot of it there. So this is where all the rest of my PS1 games are in. So, as you can see, I got two memory cards in the front zipper pocket. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. huge case. I really like this case. As you can see, it's got another zipper pocket here for more games and memory cards. And it's got a whole bunch of sleeves. So, I'm going to pull the games out and go through them. First game we have up is the PS Exchange. This right here is to get rid of your region code on your PlayStation. And uh, it cost me like 25 bucks back when I bought it brand new. And I bought it for one game. And the, I'll show you that game. I have a really bad story, funny story about this game. It made me really mad about two weeks after I bought it. Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22. This is the Japanese edition. This is imported. This game cost me $85 when I bought it. And uh, I keep this game in this case. I think it's a better protector than the boxes. But, um, yeah, so like three weeks after I bought this game for almost hundred over $100 with the Exchanger, uh, they came in out with it at Walmart on the English for like nine ninety five. Highly, highly pissed me off. But, um, oh well. <laughs> mine were in Japanese voices, so mine were better. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. Um, I didn't really like it. I thought it was really hard because they give you crappy cards and you can't really go anywhere with crappy cards. So uh, I definitely wouldn't recommend it. Uh, here's another Digimon game. Digimon World 3. Uh, pretty decent game. Um, my favorite of the three. Uh, I really like the bear at the bottom. Uh, next up we have, get out of the case here, Diablo, I think Diablo 1. Um, this was a really hard game. Um, a lot of people just bashed it all to pieces. I really liked it for the co-op factor. Uh, me and my buddy played this game a lot. Got a lot of use out of it. I got it for free from a friend. He gave it to me. Uh, 
his brother didn't want it anymore, and I told him, heck yeah, I'll play it, because I didn't have a PC that could run it back then. So, really, really great game. I'd recommend picking it up if you want a challenge. Uh, here we have, yeah, for Spyro. Uh, this is Year of the Dragon. Uh, this is my favorite one, I guess you could say. But, uh, overall, a real good game. Move it out of the way. And next up, we have Medal of Honor Collector's Edition. Um, I really don't know too much about this game. I know it's World War II and it's Medal of Honor, so I highly recommend it because all of their games are good. Uh, here we got NCAA Football 98. Never played it. March Madness 98. Never played it. Uh, WWF Smackdown. A uh, really good game, actually. Um, I liked it. It was a really good wrestling game at its time. It was the best at its time. And then its sequel came out. And its sequel... WWF Smackdown 2 was really good. I dropped it there. But this was a really good game by THQ. THQ pretty much took over the business with uh, those games. Then again, you still have people trying to make games, but they were not nearly as good. WWF In Your House, not nearly as good. These are all your basic wrestling games, though, so I'm not going to talk too much about them. Uh... WWF Warzone, this game was ported to all kinds of systems. I think I have a copy of it on my 64. Uh, I used to have a copy of it on the original Game Boy. It was just ported every which way. WrestleMania, the arcade game, this was fun. This was a little arcade kind of wrestling game with all your favorite superstars. A uh, really good game. Uh, WCW versus the world. Uh, I don't really remember much about it other than it's just a wrestling game. WCW and WO Thunder. Um, it was a really good game. THQ really started right here. And uh, they really just improved when they came out with the WWF game. This is the series THQ was in before the WWF, the WCW series. That was WCW Nitro, by the way. And HBO Boxing. Now, that's all the ones that are in the sleeves. Remember when I sh opened up the case, there was that other zipper pocket that has a little bit more. So we'll go and get some of those and show you those. Um, I will show you the basic memory card, what it looks like, in case nobody doesn't know. That's it right there. This is the official Sony one. Uh, I never used it. I always use the off-brands. I don't know why. But uh, I guess because they were see-through and they looked cooler. Uh, about the size of a regular PS2 one. Uh, these things only carry like, uh, what was it, one megabyte maybe, if that. You can only put about 14 games on one. So, I have a lot of these. Alright, we got a big stack of discs here. Um, first up, we have Billiards. And this was a really good pool game, actually. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, no, since these aren't in cases, I know they're disc to disc, but no, they are not scratched and all do work. Uh, 007 Racing, this right here was really a uh, kind of arcade uh, car game. You got missiles and stuff and had to complete the checkpoints and kill the enemies along the way. Uh, pretty good game. Uh, Cyber Tiger, I never played it. It's a Tiger Woods game. 